try to keep it as brief as I can. Uh, so far year to date, Church of Rescue Squad uh, has ran a total of 224 dispatch calls to us. So those 224 dispatch calls, uh, 97 of those have been EMS assists. Uh, two fire standbys, uh, they ran, ran 32 first responder calls with the EMS that's implemented that program, uh, 80 motor vehicle wrecks, uh, two search and rescues, five water rescue, and six other. Uh, of those years to date, we have walked 9,583 man hours and a total of 7,021 uh, miles driven. Um, of those, obviously a hot topic was the summer wheel search. Uh, Church of Rescue Squad logged a total as of right now. This number has continued to grow as we work off and on during the search. Uh, 2,648 man hours. That was just our agency alone. Uh, if you put that in kind of perspective, not just the man hours, uh, the national average for a volunteer value is $28.54 per person per hour. So just our agency logged $75,573.92 worth of services. One call. 13 days, we provided $75,000 of services for free. Uh, at, this, at this search, uh, we ended up uh, receiving 120 different agencies, 1,194 ground searchers that did not include the command post, logistics, or law enforcement. We covered approximately 4.6 square miles and a little over 3,000 acres of the Beach Creek community from Ben Hill out. Uh, this, uh, this occurred over 13 days. Just our agency alone, uh, at this time I have act actively 33 members on my roster. Of those 33, I have 25 actively involved in search operations. Uh, one thing I want to reiterate to this group especially, being the voice for all these agencies represented here and aren't able to be here. You guys should be proud of these agencies that you have in this county. Uh, for a few of the county commissioners, uh, Mr. Roach, uh, Hannah Weiniger, a few of them that were able to stop by that I was able to see. I, mean, I, I know there are several that I wasn't able to see that stopped by. These agencies worked flawlessly. There were an ill word, there was never an argument. We worked flawlessly for 13 days. <coughs> it wasn't me, it wasn't Corey, it wasn't the sheriff, it wasn't TBI, it was us as a county, outside the county, and also nationwide from other states. <coughs> um, with including that, I personally want to express our gratitude for the businesses in our area, the outside area, churches and other organizations, um, and also Hawkins County Rescue Squad for taking the lead on the logistics side of it. Uh, for 13 days, these searchers never had to wonder if they were going to have water, food. Uh, we had everything from socks, ibuprofen, sunscreen, bug spray, uh, additional clothes, additional gear. We had everything that they would possibly need to make sure these guys stayed safe. Um, and Hawkins County Rescue Squad took a large chunk of that responsibility and ran with it. Uh, Corey, uh, assistant operations, Tim Lewis, and his wife Sandra. I kept telling Sandra she was a real MVP. She orchestrated every meal, food, supplies. I, I never want, she, she never, I mean, I never, she asked that question, never had to ask her anything. When I walked out of the command post, it was there. We was taken care of. Uh, that, 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 was, that was very beneficial. Uh, and of course, one thing that it kind of Jamie hit on, and also uh, Lynn, one thing this county really needs to, and Jamie in his uh, office has put timeless hours into the radio system. If it wasn't for Hawkins County having their mobile event repeater, they were able to deploy there at the command post, we wouldn't have had radio communications hardly at all the first first night. Um, at one point, we were actually moving one of our rescue squad vehicles on Ben Hill. Because at one point, we'd have radio communication with Central Dispatch. At one point, we wouldn't. Um, they deployed that. That assisted greatly. Um, orchestrated right there close to the command post. And on the Van Hill Road, very spotty, limited, great communication uh, with the assistance of like Danny State in Sullivan County, the state living in an attacking uh, SAL that was uh, deployed there at the Joint Information Center where all media was staged at. Um, at that point, 
I believe we only had one or two areas that we had issues with radio communication, and it was as simple as those groups would literally step to the side, move a couple feet up down the hill somewhere, and the dispatchers then provided we had radio communication with everybody. And I don't know what all everybody here has done as a career, but when I took my position at Church of Richard Squad as captain, one of my main responsibilities is the safety of my people. I had no issue knowing that I knew not only my people, those 1,194 searchers that were there, law enforcement included, I knew where they were at and I had accountability of them. Um, the tacking system, that is something this, this county needs to look into. I understand there's a dollar sign there, but I do not believe any of you guys standing right here put a dollar sign on one person's safety and what that one person's worth. If you've not been through Beach Creek and pulled off Beach Creek Road and pulled on the Ben Hill Road, Fields Road, Bell Road, any of those roads through there and start looking at that terrain, one ill step, seriously injured to kill. And we had 1,194 people searching that area. So, I gotta can't stress enough. I don't wanna go to one of my members, I'm sure Hawkins County Sheriff's Department, Rescue Squad, EMS, you guys don't wanna have to make that door knock on the phone going, your child's father, mother, brother, sister, they're not coming home because of lack of communication and safety for these guys that are doing this as a volunteer for free. Uh, with that being said, I know there's been a, a large um, question on what type of detrimental effect financially did the Summerwell search have on my agency? I can't say it had a detrimental effect. The simple fact is we won't end in the red and we'll continue to provide the service we provide. What this is going to do is it's going to take away from these members. Um, training, equipment, and also some of the critical infrastructure issues that we are having at our agency. A, a frontline rescue truck um, that had catastrophic engine failure. That's now having to be pushed back a little bit. Um, our parking lot, uh, access and egress to the back part of our bays and also the HVAC units. But I'd like to say on that with our frontline rescue truck, once again, Hawkins County did not that happen provided our agency with the rescue truck. I continually tell them, guys, we're trying to work, we're trying to get to where you guys can have that back. And I was told until I have that truck replaced, for sure, that truck's to stay in church. That alone will not be able to be repaid. Uh, that being said, kind of other things are going on. Whoever is responsible for the disappearance of five-year-old Summer Wells whether that be a member of the general public or one of her family members, her mother, Candace Bly, or her father, Donald Wells, her grandmother, Candace Hara, or somebody else that knew the family. Have you listened to a word of what this man has just said? How many man hours it has taken to search for this child how much time, how much effort, the terrain that they have gone through, the bug bites, the dehydration, the hunger, the scratches, the time away from their loved ones to search for your summer wells. But they did it. Some of them paid and some of them not paid. But look how much it's cost your county. Your members, your church members, the general public, to search for five-year-old Summer Wells. If you have faith, if you're a religious person and you care about other people, their well-being, as well as your own, you would come forward with information as to where Summer is because you've just cost the TBI thousands and thousands of pounds, thousands and thousands of man hours, time away from their family and all of the above. So if you're a religious person and you care about other people, you have faith, you have faith in God, then you are sinning every single day by allowing all these people to do all this work and put in all this money to search for five-year-old Summer Wells. Yes, sir. Uh, prior to 
prior to this when we had the communications meetings. Yes, sir. Uh, there was a gentleman here from uh, Tyler. Yes, sir. And with the DMR, he stated that we had like 78% coverage. Mm -hmm. In his own words, he said if we had intact, and we would only get maybe 80%. That eighty percent kept my searchers out of state and the people here locally safe. I don't know what to do on the radio, and and I mean I don't know how come we always get a finger pointed at us. I mean we have done everything that we're supposed to do that we've seen in front of us so far. Absolutely, and and anybody yeah. laboring that, you know, my statements that I made is pointing no blame. This is just providing you additional information that you guys don't see. I mean. Like I, like, like I said, in Beach Creek, I'm, I'm just providing you information saying, hey, this system works. There's no point in blame. This is additional information. Reaching out. Well, we, we can't do it on our own. It's, it's, we're trying to come to the commission to say, hey, help us. We're not pointing blame. I don't think any agency here would point a finger at any one of you guys or any one of them whenever one of these seats would be. This is just providing information to help you guys make the right decision for us. Well, I appreciate that statement. And, uh, uh, I mean, I've said here and I've listened to part of you, but I mean, as, as a county commissioner myself, I mean, the issue at hand right now is Summer Wells. Absolutely. And nobody has given us an update on her since I've been here today. Absolutely. Would you like to do that or? What update I can give you from speaking with local law enforcement, um, we said we want to elaborate of my agency at search operations. We know no more than we did on day 13. We scale back operations of the fact that she is missing. And we are assisting local, state, and federal resources and agencies to whatever they may need. It's, we don't know. If I had the information and I was able to tell you, I would tell you today. If I knew where she was at, she'd have been back 15. June 15th. I mean, it's, uh, and, and that's the thing we keep getting is we want updates. I mean, I, I have updated the media outlets locally, all the way to Nashville, all the way to New York on, on, on the national news level. I've updated everybody to everything that I know. Like I said. If you want to go ahead and watch the rest of this interview, then please go across to Matt Black's channel i will link that in the description box for you so you can press on it and go watch the whole thing